Hi, in this video, we are going to learn more about a powerful study strategy called space learning. I have already shared about how and what space learning is in my other videos. So in this one, we're going to talk about why space learning actually works and how it is suitable to our brains. Basically, when you use space learning, you are working with your brain to learn things better and more efficiently. Well, first of all, what is space learning? Space learning means your learning is spaced in time, which means you're not learning everything before the test. And that means we are not cramming. Another characteristic of space learning is that it happens in small amounts, not one big shot at a time. And you will be surprised to know that spaced learning works with vocabulary words, it works with pure facts, it works with music if you're practicing music. It even works with mapping if you want to learn a new place, if you just move to a new town or a new city and you want to learn about it. The best way to do it is via spaced learning. Well, why does space learning actually work? The first thing you must understand about our brains is that it does not like to waste energy. If it can just lie down there and watch TV and vegetate for the whole day, it will do that. And I'm sure a lot of you out there have experienced that. You would rather not do anything than go and do your homework. So that's why the, you, you intimately know that our brains do not like to waste energy. The next thing is that, this might be surprising to some of you, but I'm sure most of you know, learning is actually using energy. Some of you might term it wasting energy. So when you learn something, you are using energy, you're asking your brain to do something which it does not really want to do. So brains do not like to learn unless it is necessary. So necessary is the key thing. So when you force your brains to learn, you're, you're literally forcing it because it doesn't, it's not working with you. So it doesn't feel that that knowledge is important. It doesn't feel that that knowledge is going to save itself in the future. And that's why it doesn't get into your brain. Now, space learning, however, it spreads learning over days and weeks and sometimes even months. And what this does basically, right, it tells your brain, hey, this is important stuff. This is very, very important because I'm seeing it over and over and over again. And we are going to use this in future. So your brain, when it sees something repeatedly, it actually thinks like this. And what happens is, that's why your brain will then spend effort to remember it. Now, when you use space to repetition, you are working with your brain. Your brain will actually spend effort and energy to try and remember it because it believes that it is important and that you are going to use it in the future. And some, for some reason, you know, it, this information will save it. It will help you to escape from an enemy. And um, that's why they will spend effort to remember it. So some of you might be asking me, hey, Kaiden, is it real or not? Are you, you know, are you pulling our leg? Is this for real? Well, I can, what I can share with you is that whatever I've just shared with you is actually scientifically proven. So it's all this, whatever I just shared with you is actually a research done by Dr. Robert Bjork. He's a distinguished professor of psychology at the University of California. And um, basically that was a condensed version of his paper, Learning from Test, the Effects of Spacing, which, just, which is a very, very long experiment on what I just shared with you. So is that spacing, when you space out things and you learn things over time, you're actually working with your brain and telling your brain that, hey, this stuff is important, so please remember it. All right. So I hope you have a better idea of why spaced learning is so important and so useful and it makes things so much easier for students and adult learners as well. My name is Kaiden and I'll see you at the next video.